All right, thank you for coming back to my channel. This is Trip, and the channel is Trucking with Trip. All right, so I need to say this. Uh, I made a very, very bad rookie mistake. Uh, I didn't have any provisions inside my truck. Um, hoy, not enough water, not enough food. Uh, I ended up spending two and a half days here, almost three days, and uh, I paid for it. I paid for it bad. Um, all new drivers, make sure you have a few days, if not five days, of water and food. You don't want to get stuck at a rest area like I did for almost three straight days uh, with the rest area not having any other things besides restrooms there. And uh, picnic tables if you want to go out and have a picnic. So I got the... Uh, okay uh wyoming lifted up the restrictions for um for us truck drivers especially me with carrying only 1626 pounds um wind speeds were down to six miles an hour so i can handle that the only thing i was worried about was the black ice being so light um i could drift anywhere real easy so yeah, uh, I ended up getting into Rollins. Uh, and another thing, if you are, make sure before you make this run across I-80, make sure your tanks are full. I messed up. I thought I was going to be able to make it to Rollins. And three days later, I am finally getting into Rollins. I was below E on my fuel gauge and uh, really, really paranoid that I wasn't going to make it to Rollins because it was 54 miles. Uh, once most trucks get down to uh, E you usually have about 50 miles to go um, I just got lucky um, I had some uh, a nice truck driver at the uh, rest area he gave me some ham earlier this morning and some bread so I can have something to eat because we didn't know what was going on uh, yeah just make sure you're stocked up with something in there last you a couple of days Again, like I said, it was a huge rookie mistake, uh, and another rookie mistake myself. I should never have gone up here on eight, uh, I-80. I uh, I should have shot down to 40 or 10 and shot across to California that way. But, uh, hey, I'm still alive. The truck's okay. That's the main thing. Um so yeah, I only get to TA and Rawlings, and uh, I couldn't go any further because the, the highway system was messed up for uh, going further west. So I'm actually sitting here at the TA at Rawlings right now, um, just waiting until tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning looks like it's going to be another decent day overnight. Uh, it's it's supposed to be real crappy, more winter weather. So. Yeah, uh, I know I'm talking a lot, but this is an extremely short video, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, just let this go. Uh, it turned out it wasn't really, it wasn't really as bad as uh, I thought it was going to be. I mean, of course, these other truckers are flying by me because they have experience driving in this. I've only driven in weather like this twice. The first time was my first year. And that was when I was catching 70 off of 15 going east. And I ended up uh, doing like 25 miles an hour for a good 60, 70 miles. Uh, the main thing is drive safe. Be cautious. Keep stuff stocked up in your in your truck. Um, make sure you get a fuel, full, full, full tanks of fuel before you take off i screwed up and passed uh in laramie i didn't catch the exit for it and i, I passed the loves and i thought okay i could be all right i got plenty of fuel to get me to rollins i can get fuel in rollins rollins yeah two and a half almost three days at a, at a rest area with no provisions uh kind of sucks so i'm getting off the freeway here in a second and uh pulling into a ta um uh, just to get some fuel and to shut down for the night uh, granted it's only 54 miles to run today but um, the way I've been uh, doing things just not good so all right just remember 
don't be a starfish don't be a johnson and thank you so hit subscribe and like and uh please come back thank you for watching bye